hello hello and welcome back to the big fat psychic channel uh i hope you're all well today happy father's day uh for, for all you guys out there and uh women as well because i remember myself uh when i was a single parent for a long time i did say to my son are you getting me a card for a father's day and he said no so i said why and he went because you're not my dad so i said no but i've been doing this bloody job for the last uh 15 years you know uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, every time after that he got me a, a, a Father's Day card, bless him But yeah, so um, Okay, so we're going to cut right into this I want to know if uh, Charles has heard anything from Harry uh, today Okay, I've got a selection of videos going out So uh, I'm trying to keep them uh, to 15 to 20 minutes uh, max uh, For the next few videos Just see how it goes down And also um, we have got an awful lot to cover, okay, so, uh, so apologies if you've not heard from me uh, yesterday or the day before. Uh, I, I don't know if you remember, but I had a couple of dogs uh, that were very, very lively. And uh, when I was playing about with them on the Friday, just before they're going home, uh, my back went. So uh, I've been on the old uh, naproxen uh, and stuff, so uh, really painful. But glad to uh, tell you today it's uh, a lot better, so... Uh, I'm able to walk and hoover and everything else and uh, do my readings unaffected by uh, painkillers okay so uh, as for going live I've stumbled across, uh, across an obstacle already uh, so it should take 24 hours to resolve and uh, it'll be humanity okay so humanity keep your eye out for that video uh, that's when uh, we'll be going live okay uh, but other checks uh, seem fine okay so just that one stumbling block okay then so without further ado and always forget to uh check the comments at the end you know we always uh, like to sum up nicely uh, on bits that i may have missed okay so uh as charles heard from harry today for father's day oh don't think so no no, 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 no. He hasn't been, uh, you know, he, he, he's avoiding uh, Charles like the plague. He is uh, avoiding Charles because there's something coming up, you know, that could be even more uh, damaging. And uh, he, he feels that if uh, Harry, uh, if Harry's stayed away from that conversation, from any contact, uh, I don't think there's been uh, any, any contact in quite a, a while, actually. Okay, so... Um, not even an apology, do you know what I mean? And like uh, Charles just fears that there's more um, that uh, Harry is going to dish out uh, more shite uh, about him being a father. It's absolutely, uh, you know, devastated. Actually, he is devastated. So damaging what Harry has managed to uh, achieve uh, in the stakes of hurting his dad. You know, um, I mean, we've already seen, haven't we, that there's uh, stuff coming out that uh, poor Charles was, uh, you know investigated uh, for, for uh, the Diana catastrophe, you know. I mean, really? Really? And I mean, that psychic who told Diana, you know, somebody was going to cut her bricks, uh, well, they got it wrong, didn't they? They got it wrong. Uh, but it's in a way, it was right. It was just the wrong delivery style because, you know, had she known that... Um, <laughs> That, you know, the guy couldn't break in time, maybe, you know, to against the wall or however it happened. Uh, so it just shows that although it kind of did ring true, it was just in a different way than the thought. And obviously, uh, you know, life is never going to say uh, to you, oh, this is going to happen at this such and such a time, you know, and you've got to avoid that. Uh, that it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. Otherwise, we'd all know the winning numbers to the lottery, you know. So yeah, Harry is uh is done a right number on uh Charles. So there there are no cards, there are no messages, you know. And uh, I'd be surprised if you heard out from uh, Harry about Father's Day as well, because uh, take note that Megan didn't uh do anything for for Mother's Day, because they get called out. You see, you know, uh, if if Harry puts something out, everybody's gonna go wild at him for for like abandoning his own dad. And Megan's a dad too. Okay, what are, what are the obstacles, uh, challenges that Charles uh, faces with Harry? Uh, 
Uh, more stuff coming out about uh, Diana, you know, the challenges are. He keeps bringing up uh, Diana all the bloody time and using her, uh, you know, as an excuse uh, for, to cover his feelings. Um, I've always said, you know, the, the way you, you, the way you come to terms with losing somebody in life is by honouring uh, their life, you know, uh, by leading a good example uh, and being a positive role model yourself, you know. Uh, but yeah, he's just uh and then you've got the fact that, you know, Megan's claiming everything about pregnancy, she can't do this, she can't do that, he can't do this. You know, uh, and if, if he sent anybody in to attack uh, Harry and Meghan, you know, they're all going to cry. Uh, oh, she's just had a baby. She's just had a baby. Uh, last week, the kid was only six days old and you told us all it had been weeks. Yeah, he's doing something uh, uh, with Diana. Oh, we said, didn't we? More Diana, more Diana, more Diana. Friggin' hell, is, is Harry going to say, uh, you know, his mum was uh, a, a dad as well? What is um, what is Charles, uh, you know, <laughs> aware of? What is he conscious of? Yeah, of all the uh, bureaucracy, you know, he can't do anything on his own anymore. It's all red tape. You've got to go through somebody for this, somebody for that, somebody for the other. Uh, you're not, he's not able to speak with um, Harry uh, freely, you know, uh, and on his own. There always has to be uh, someone there uh, as well. I just feel as well, um, money. Money's eluding the Sussexes, okay? So Harry and Meghan uh, aren't getting in the coin that, uh, that they want. So they become more desperate, you know. They become more desperate. There's another Harry and Diana uh, coming up. Oh, and then Harry's, you know, going to relay that Meghan, Meghan, Meghan and Diana, Meghan and Diana, oh, What does uh you know, what does Charles uh see uh, as the problem here? You know that they wanted to 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 move that they've left. That's what he sees it. You know that they wanted to uh, move and uh, you know get their own place and expand and uh, you know uh, uh, and be a family. You know they were saying they wanted to be a family. Mm. I guess as well that they didn't want to be uh, part of their family, <clears throat> you know, Harry, uh, Charles's uh, family. And that he's got, Harry's got his own uh, family now, you know, his own family now. Uh, what What's uh, the recent past of uh, Charles and uh, Harry's communications, please? Yeah, you know, you just, uh, it's trouble all the time, it's trouble, so, so it's like, you know, he he's fearful, obviously, that they're recording everything, that they uh, say everything, that they repeat uh, everything, you know, um, and he, he sees that, uh, you know, Harry's been trying to uh, stir up uh, trouble, you know, really stir up trouble, because this is a card, I mean, uh, Charles just feels absolutely humiliated uh, by all this, you know. And you know what, right, the guy has made mistakes, but we all have. We all have as parents, you know. Don't give me one parent that is a, an absolute uh, saint uh, because it's just not true. Um, and, you know, but do we get called out over it? Do we get put over hot, hot coals, you know, stones? Uh, are we in the uh, press and vilified and can't even respond to it? You know, I mean, what do you respond to? Uh, I know they say that they're they're bringing it down on the um you know the information they'll they'll strike out, but they'll only strike out you know big parts, not little parts. Oh, I can just see out my window and there's about a thousand beds. It looks like we're at the seaside, and I live nowhere near the seaside. Oh, they're all there. 
Anyway, yeah, uh, you know, so Harry's just staring uh, things up. He's coming across as well quite uh, immature. He's uh, repeating stuff that is uh, apparently learned uh, from others, you know, all these mental health people uh, and his uh, jargon masters, you know. He's just full of it. He's actually full of it. He's full of it. What's the future uh, coming up for, um, you know, Charles and uh, Harry? What's the near future? Ah, oh, well, I think, you know, uh, as King, uh, he's going to be looking to, uh, you know, balance the, the books uh, and... Uh, in a quietly way, solve uh, financial uh, issues uh, effectively. Okay, so you could find uh, that there's uh, talk uh, about uh, Charles and the rules. The rules. Oh, I'm seeing a bank as well, a bank, like proper money bank. I think Charles is uh, just going to Charles is just going to be Charles. I can't say he's going to be, uh, you know, confident and uh, this that and the other because to me he's a bit of a jerk. But uh, you know, for for other reasons. Um, so you know, and I'm one of these. If you can't uh, sacrifice, you know, your own personal desires over a woman for your marriage, then you're not going to do that. Then I uh, for your for your kingdom. Okay, so that's my uh, feelings on it. You guys can uh, disagree, <laughs> but anyway, um, so yeah, it's, uh, you know, I think uh, there's going to be news, uh, you know, about their spending, maybe, you know, uh, their spending. And slimming. Okay, uh, what is, uh, you know, what's the attitude uh, Charles has towards his son, Harry? And Megan. Yeah, they're always, uh, you know, you've got the seven, nine of ones there, sorry. So you've got the uh, five of, bad at that. I'm, I, I, five of swords reversed. Uh, three, <clears throat> the empress upright. Four of pentacles reversed. Four of wands upright. Page of swords upright. King of uh, pentacles upright. <clears throat> And uh, seven, nine of uh, ones reverse. So, you know, I, I think uh, basically he's under a lot of pressure. Uh, I think he feels that Harry's putting on, under uh, a, a lot of pressure. Uh, there's a lot of unclear uh, thinking there. So he just doesn't know, uh, you know, again, it can't be William, for God's sake. Be cut and dried about it. You're in, you're out, or that's it. There's no in between. He's just a dilly dally, you know, he's our child. So, you know, I'm getting frustrated now because I can kind of sense that Harry will try and weasel uh, in, despite everything that this moron does. He is wishy washy, he's Charles. I just, you know, uh, he's, he's not strong enough. He is not strong enough at all. Do you know what? I reckon I'd even have William for a Prime Minister, man. He can't be any worse than the others. Okay, uh, so, you know, what kind of environment is Charles feeling with uh, Harry at the moment? And don't forget, you know, today's uh, Father's Day and he's lost his, lost his dad as well, hasn't he? Yeah, he's been told not to get involved. It's pointless battles. You've got the seven of uh, ones, uh, you know, let them tire themselves out uh, in their tantrum. <clears throat> Save your energy and don't bother. Excuse me, I don't know what's going on with my throat. <clears> throat> yeah, just save your energy, uh, you know, for, for bigger things. So I, I do kind of get like lots of pointless shit bits coming out, uh, you know, just... Uh, Pointless, just pointless. Why are they coming out? Well, we know why they're coming out because Megan and Harry have got nothing else big. Well, they have got a couple of things. Oh my, oh my, I did say it gets worse. Oh, and it certainly does. It certainly does. Okay, so uh, what are uh, Charles's hopes for uh, Harry in the near future? <laughs> disappear, yeah, you know, uh, yeah, that 
he'd somehow managed to get himself uh, uh, away from uh, Megan, you know, uh, because you can't depend on, on anything he says, you know. So um, I, I think that he wishes his son, he knew his son isn't a liar, isn't false, you know, two faces, one thing to your face, you know, smiling assassin, that's what he is, he's smiling uh, assassin. So, you know, I, I think as well that uh, he uh, hopes that they can, all this shit that's coming out, uh, that they can re now respond, you know, uh, and they need to be uh, responding and telling them, you know, what is false, false, false. What does Charles fear? Uh, I, I think he, you know, he was hoping uh, that... Harry would uh, come over, I guess, you know, uh, and he fears that, um, if it, well, he's not coming, you know, he's, he's just not coming, that he'll stay at home with Megan and uh, not bother uh, coming, because that'll look uh, awful, won't it, if it's just William, for God's sake, if it's just William, what they're trying to do, are they, you know, will Harry come out with an excuse, I mean, at the end of the day, I ain't heard nothing about isolating, you know, I'm sure when you come from another country, uh, you're supposed to quarantine before and and after, so I don't know, I could be wrong about that, I am in the UK, and it is totally uh, mystifying what you bloody can and uh, can't do. So, and I don't really <laughs> go out apart from uh, to to the shops. And uh, I did. I know we went to the pub uh, the other week. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, I just um, that's what I fears. Okay. Uh, will uh, you know? Will uh, Charles uh, see Harry? Uh, on the uh, you know for Diana's uh, for Diana's uh, unveiling. Well, I've definitely got a uh, Catherine, so I wonder if Catherine uh, does it. You know. I mean, she is so dutiful. Do you know what? She is just the epiphany uh, of somebody that you you could love for forever, you know. And she's not daft, you know. She's intelligent. Uh, you know, she is. She's very, very intelligent. Very clever. Very clever indeed. Uh, she's beautiful. Uh, she's natural, you know. Uh, she looks a bit thin these days, you know. But, okay, yeah, we'll see. Uh, but, you know... I think it's, you know, a focus on them. Let's focus on uh, them. Uh, William doing the right thing by his uh, mother. Okay, uh, what's the uh, future headlines uh, coming up for uh, Charles and Harry, please? Well, you know, it could be that uh, they're going to... Try and do something together, try and have a talk together, try and have a meeting together. Uh, you know, it's something that he'll want Harry to commit to uh, in the future, uh, like talks. Why doesn't Charles just trust uh, Harry to run out of bloody steam, you know, and uh, it's sell everything he can and give him no more, you know. Uh, but it seems, you know... It seems uh, as if, uh, you know, the headlines are that he'll want to see uh, Meghan and uh, Harry. Finally, will Harry uh, come to the UK for Diana statue unveiling? Okay, so I've got a, a you know an element of uh, trickery here. So it's like the making out one thing uh, and doing another. No, it's very hard, isn't it? It's very hard to say whether they're coming or not. I don't, you know, I'm going to say no, okay, but I am going to say like over the next few days, you know, it's going to it'll be made out that uh, Harry is uh, coming, but you know, I I just don't see it. I just don't see it. 
Yeah, I, I think um, they're going to, uh, you know, like I said before, they're going to say, yeah, we're coming. No, we're coming. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, we are. So, uh, you know, I, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. Absolutely. Uh, no, not with all uh, everything that's been going on uh, that they've brought upon uh, their own hands. But yes, uh, I think they're definitely going to make out that they are coming. You might even get a story uh, that is set off and uh, uh, flown here, you know. Will, uh, you know, William, will William, you know, do the unveiling uh, without Harry? Will William do the unveiling without Harry? Yes. There's nothing else he can do, you see. You know, he's stuck. It's like you can't move this. Uh, you can't delay it uh, again. So it, it's, I kind of feel like he'll feel stuck. Uh, and uh, trapped, you know. Remember, Harry said he felt trapped. Uh, all the royals uh, feel trapped. I I've just got uh, William not wanting this, uh, you know, whatsoever. Uh, whatsoever. Uh, it's as if uh, Harry is told he can't come because of a certain thing so it could be the restrictions the pandemic it could be uh you know isolation uh it, it, you know i definitely got something legal or, or documents uh doctors uh so yeah okay we'll see i don't i don't think he's coming well i still don't think he's coming okay so uh that's how uh you know charles feels uh, about harry uh it, it, like you know he's just going off about his mum all the time uh, he wanted to go off and uh, do something. Now he doesn't like it. All he does is give, uh, you know, the royals uh, crap. Uh, and, uh, you know, he slagged his dad off uh, and everything, put him through the ringer. You know, it's uh, it's disgusting. It's absolutely uh, disgusting. So happy Father's Day, uh, Charles. I know you love Bar William, so we don't have to, to go there with him, or shall we? How does uh, Charles feel about William uh, on Father's Day? Of course, you know, grandfather, father, uh, oh, yeah, son. Do you know, I just think everybody's worrying, you know, they're spending their time and they're spending today uh, worrying uh, uh, about Prince Harry. Uh, you know, I ain't called him that for a long time. Excuse me. Uh, uh, yeah, so... Um, they're worried uh, uh, about Harry. He's not in a good state. Okay, right. Well, that was uh, how Charles and uh, Harry. So I don't think, uh, you know, Harry uh, got his dad a, a card. Maybe he wrote him a, another long letter, you know, a long letter. One that can be uh, printed uh, later on in the, uh, the Times 100. Okay, so uh, that's that reading, and I'll be back shortly with another reading. All right, guys, bye now. Bye-bye.